Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got an exciting video for you today. It's all about our off-grid hot water system. Um, we built this well, using our own brains and everything. Uh, I'm not saying that you should do this. I'm just saying that this works for us. Um, this system was a cheaper and easier way, really the cheapest and easiest way that we could figure out how to do this and have hot running water for doing dishes, for doing laundry, and for taking showers, which are all things you need to do no matter what. So let's get right into it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is where we put our water. So we have a well outside. This is a dry cabin. When I say dry cabin, that means we don't have plumbing, basically. Our house, it just is sitting on chicken legs. So <laughs> there is no plumbing. Um, so obviously we do have a well outside. We had a well drilled um, the first year that we got here at the end of summer. So basically we take a garden hose from our well all the way out here, which I'm gonna do a whole video on how we do that. But all of that water gets stored right here in our 55 gallon drum. This is a big 55 gallon barrel here. Um, that's where all of our water is stored. So we have two hoses going in. We have a inlet hose that comes off of this pump right here. Let me, I guess, talk about this pump for a second. So this is an electronic water pump that it's all electric. It doesn't run on anything other than batteries. We were pretty battery focused. I want to do a whole video on our power grid and our power system. I'm going to get there. Bear with me, you know, one thing at a time. So anyways, um, we wanted an electric pump with batteries, with a charging system so we could just recharge them. That's what we got. We got this pump. I don't remember how much we paid for it. I want to say it was like a hundred and some bucks uh, from our local Ace Hardware. It's just a garden pump. That's all it is. Um, and it's got an uh, outlet pipe here that we ended up putting a pressure regulator on as well just to help it so it didn't deadhead the pump. Um, we've got our inlet hose that's coming from our 55 gallon barrel. So that's down here and there running around and goes in the pump out through here through the metal line which then goes into our fancy dancy hot water heater. Now you may ask yourself that thing looks really expensive. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, I got this bad boy on Amazon for 170 bucks. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, it didn't work when we got it. Fresh out of the box from Amazon, didn't work. So Justin literally had to take it apart and fix it to get it to work because living in Alaska, I'll get into this too, having things shipped to you, at least where we live in Alaska, is extremely difficult. So anyways, fixed it put it together, it works. Has it worked for us for an entire year? You betcha. Has there been some issues with it? Definitely. Um, we've had to work on it a couple times. So it's not the best thing in the world, but it does work. And I do have hot running water anytime I need it. Um, so that has been a game changer for us. Water is a big deal going off grid. And it's something that we didn't look into enough and that's something I wanna try and help people realize that that's a big part of living off grid, where you get your water, how you get your water, how you do dishes, how you get hot water, all of that um, sometimes gets overlooked in your planning process. Anyways, moving on. Um, so we have our hot water heater. Once the water goes up through the hot water heater, uh, we've got a little spray nozzle right here and it just comes right out our spray nozzle, right? So I've got my sink here as well. Um, the other part of our water system is our fresh water. So this is what we use to filter our well water for drinking water. Um, so again, this, we just have a valve here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this as well. But we've got a valve right here that wise out. Let's just grab you now, here we go. So this Y comes out, this part right here goes to our um, shower head, washer, sprayer, sink sprayer. And then the other line, we've just got another fitting that's closed right now, obviously, that goes to our water filter. And then that is what we fill our blue jug with, is our water filter there. Um, this is the sink that my husband made me. 
I want to get into this sink and do a whole video on this sink because we made this. This is literally a horse grain trough that I had for my horses in Montana. Um, and it's been our sink for a year and a half. And then it drains out into a bucket and I go and dump buckets outside when they're full. So that is our water system. Now let me show you it in action. Okay guys, so again, this is a battery pump. I'm gonna grab a battery because they're both dead and because I was just doing dishes. So I'm gonna grab this one, see if we have enough charge to get this thing going. So we've got a charger. This is the battery it runs on. Super easy. Pop this guy open. Boom, boom. You got low speed and fast speed. I always turn on fast speed, whatever. We got our valves, turn those on. <laughs> sprayer switch for this guy got all our switching controls you'll mess with those yourself figure them out there we go pressurized hot water as you can see 94 93 degrees right there this thing gets really hot by the way and you can get really really hot water out of this so just know you will not have cold showers with one of these bad boys so that's how that works is our hot water system. And I'm gonna show you our filtration system as well and just so you can kind of see how that works too. So, Okay guys, now I'm gonna go into how we fill our fresh water jug and what we do for getting fresh drinking water, which is really, really important. Um, so right over here, I have our fresh water jug we got. Now, I gotta do a little remodel, remove the sink so I can get it into position. So my sink is currently not tied down. So we just pick it up. And just spin this guy around, making sure my drain stays over my bucket. Okay. Now that we have the room. Now I'm grabbing my blue jug. So this guy right up over here. Then, run this guy down. Have to make sure our hot water heater is shut off because you cannot run hot water through that type of water filter. So, that's all I was just doing, we're shutting that off. Now we're gonna turn the pump on, give them fresh water. this valve, open up this second Y that goes to our water filter. Boom. Show you. Ah! Comes out really slow. It takes forever to fill this thing. Maybe you're asking me, how do you know when it's full? Well, I've got a handy dandy little trick. I'll show it to you. Okay guys, got my handy dandy headlamp here. This thing will show me when that's full. Boom. I'll show you. So of course now you can't really see it in the camera, but it's lit up enough that you can see the level. It's just empty. So it's a very bottom because this thing was empty 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 so we use the same trick for filling our big barrel which is right down here if you stick a headlamp in there you can see where your water level is at when you're filling it up too so that is how we do it this is how we do it anyway sweet hot water heater 170 bucks on amazon 100 and some bucks for the pump I think the barrel was 200 and some bucks. So, you know, $500 water system-ish. It's not bad. Beats paying for water. That's all I'm saying. I guess we paid for a well, but at least we only got to pay once. Super easy. We're going to be upgrading this whole 
kitchen is going to be different. Um, Justin's going to put a faucet in and we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I'm really excited. Beforehand, I used to have to lift up this entire sink and dump it into a five gallon bucket and then take buckets all the way outside to dump those. So now the fact that it drains by itself into a bucket and all I have to do is grab the bucket and take it out, it's been a game changer. So anyways, that's our hot water system. If you guys have questions about it, let me know. This is, I'm sorry, I wanted to go into this just a little bit more. Um, so this is one of those outdoor camp style showers is basically how I found it on Amazon. It runs on propane and two D batteries. So that's all it takes. There's two D batteries for the igniter. It automatically ignites when it sees water pressure. Um, and then we've got our propane right underneath here. Um, we've got the propane with a Y that also goes to our camp chef oven as well. So that way we have propane for our oven and propane for a hot water system ready to go. Trying to think if there's anything else I can talk about. If there's any questions you have on our hot water system or you want to see anything else, let me know. Um, I'll be giving you guys updates as well as we continue to upgrade it. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Okay, so something else I forgot to mention is that for our fresh water, once we filter it through the filter and it sits in our blue jug, um, we use that for like cooking, that sort of thing. And then for actual drinking water, we have a little purr filter. So we call it anyway, purr, purr. I don't know. It's what they had at Ace. But it works. So we filter our water through that too. Then we drink it. So just so you know, that was one last step. Thanks, you guys.